today I'm going to show you some addition and subtraction activities you can do using two-sided counters. We're going to start with addition of one-digit numbers. We can use two-sided counters and tens frames to add one-digit numbers. Here I have put seven red counters in my first tens frame. I've then added five yellow counters by filling up the first tens frame and starting the second tens frame. We can quickly see that seven plus five is twelve. We can also use counters and tens frames for subtraction. Here I have fifteen counters. If I take away eight counters, I am left with seven counters. So, 15 take away 8 is 7. We can do the same to help us add decimal numbers. This time, my tens frames are worth 1, and each square is worth 1 tenth. I have set out 8 tenths, or 0 0.8 as red counters. I have then set out 6 tenths, or 0 0.6 as yellow counters. We can see that 0 0.8 add 0 0.6 is one whole and four tenths or 1.4. We can also subtract decimal numbers this way. Here we have 1.7. If we take away 0 0.9 or 9 counters, we are left with 8 counters, which is 0 0.8. Next, we're going to use two sided counters to understand exchanging. I'm going to use yellow counters to represent ones and red counters to represent tens. Here we can see 9 add 3 equals 12 ones. I'm going to exchange 10 of my yellow ones for a red tens counter. So I now have 1 10 and 2 ones. We can also use two-sided counters to understand inverse calculations. Here we can see 4 add 3 equals 7. We can work out the inverse, which is 7 take away 3. If I turn over 3 counters, we are left with 4. We can also show 3 add 4 equals 7. And to work out the inverse, 7 take away 4, I need to turn over 4 counters. We are then left with 3. We can use counters to help us understand repeated addition. Here we have 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, which is 12. Finally, we're going to use two-sided counters to help us understand doubles. Here, I have made two with the red counters and doubled it with the yellow counters. So double two is four. Here, I have made three with the red counters and doubled it with the yellow counters. So double three is six. And here, I have made six using the red counters and doubled it with yellow counters. So double six is twelve. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. See you all soon. Bye!